came onto this. So I want to install a version of Windows on a touchscreen based device. And you know what's a very accessible touchscreen based device? Phones. This is my Google Pixel 8, which is my main phone as of filming this video. And today we're going to be using a little app called Limbo X86. It's just an X86 emulator for ARM based Android devices. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, here we go. We're on the monitor. So this is just my app selection screen right here. Uh, yup, Limbo X86, it's right there. So I'm just going to flip the phone in portrait so that we can actually do it. So new, new machine name, Windows XP Create. Um, I want to go custom. All right, now we have to set our stuff up. So CPU model N270. I assume that's an Intel Atom N270 which that is a CPU that I am familiar with, so that's good. We're gonna give this um, emulator, can I scroll you up, one gigabyte of RAM, a disc, we are, um, this is from a previous attempt, this hard disk image does not exist anymore, so we're gonna create a new, a four gigabyte, um, what should we call it, win XP2, cause I already did one. Oh, we're going to change the directory. I'm back. Let's put it in... Uh, just put it in documents, just because. You just fold it. Yep. And create. Uh, removable media, we will check. Oh, hey, I already got my ISO, because I already did this before. Nice. So, yeah, I think that is all configured. Let's just change the video card to VMware. Audio card, let's change it to uh, HDA, I guess. And network, I will set the network to... Uh, it's fine. Network cloud. Oh. I'm just going to go with E1000. I might need to hook up Ethernet to this phone. But anyway, begin. I will rotate the phone. And also, yeah, this is the phone. I have it connected to a USB-C um, adapter hub thing, so just so that we can have it on this external monitor and have a keyboard and mouse connected for more comfortable use. Not like I'm actually going to be using Windows XP on my phone, but whatever. This is just for the video. And if I need to plug in any more um, accessories into this, like USB accessories, like SD cards and whatnot, I can stick that into the hub. Uh, continue. I was having trouble with that last time. Um, FA. Uh, format as NTFS. This is already going smoother than last time. Last time I couldn't even get the keyboard working nor the mouse so yeah i'm gonna cut to when we need to type in like the product key and the regional and language options window pops up that stage is set up so yeah without further ado let's start our time lapse So let's change the, so this is my Windows XP cursor, this is the Android cursor. Um, yeah, it's a little bit bad, but we can just do that and it's, and it's a little bit better. Ah, uh, yeah. This feels like an Intel Atom N270 because um, I have two computers with an Intel Atom N270 and this is how it feels. 
feels like to install XP. Um, whale. Just put whale. Oh no! I'm gonna need to bring this keyboard over and enter the key. Yes! Like computer name. Slow M U. I. Uh, yeah. Next. I named it Slow M U because this is slow. Um. Change the time zone to that. Put my mouse cursor closer so I can actually click the next button. And there we go. Let's move the mouse closer again. And there we go. Let's just wait another age. To improve the appearance of visual elements, Windows will automatically adjust your screen resolution. Fine. If you can read this text, click OK. OK. That looks horrible. I think that's pretty straight. Alright, please wait. because I do not want WhatsApp notifications in my video. Windows is starting up. All right, well, we got it centered now, so that's good. Sorry, the phone just ran out of space, so I had to delete some stuff. And also, the phone is charging because it's seriously on 5%, so I don't think that I'm going to have enough battery to film the rest of this. Hello, editor here. So the phone that I was referring to in this clip was the phone that I was using to record the video. The phone that was running the emulator and running Windows XP was perfectly fine in terms of battery and storage. Just to clear that up. Anyway, back to the video. But I will try. Anyway, we're setting up personalised settings right here. Let's move the mouse so that it's there. So yeah, now we're setting up personalised settings for Windows Desktop Update, which does not exist anymore. And also, I have it on the Pixel as well, right here. So yeah, just to prove that I'm still doing it on a phone. Anyway... I'm probably just going to stop recording here, let the phone charge, and I will be back when we reach the desktop. Alright everybody, good news! We got it. I upped the resolution to 1280 by 720 but I think that just made it worse. But yeah, this is fully functional. I do not know the controls for this, so I am going to have to connect it to my keyboard and mouse to actually be able to use it. Alright, there we go. We have a proper keyboard and mouse. So now, we can drag windows, we can open up the start menu, and we are logged in as the administrator account, if I can move this. So yeah, this is... um. Windows XP with the classic theme because the Luna theme was not properly installed on a phone on a literal Android arm phone through QEMU let's see if I can close device manager now we need a little thumbnail shot Okay, this is really stupid. 
just hold it up. Um, just hold it like this and I will take the photo. Taken. So yeah. Now I do not have to touch this installation again. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, then subscribe. And I'll see you in my next upload.